Hello, Hair Daily here. Um, welcome to another video. This video is going to give a very brief overview on bestimmte Artikel or definite articles in German. I have other videos discussing the nominative and dative case in particular and how to use the case system applied with real life examples that you can have a look in the videos but this video will primarily just give you a quick overview based on the fact that you have this prior knowledge. So in German there are three genders that have nothing got to do with one's sex but rather the epistemological construct of the language. So there will be de for masculine, de for feminine and das for neutrum and then the plural is de. For the accusative, de goes to den, de goes to de, das goes to das, de goes to de. So the rhyme is de goes to den, the rest is the same. Um, this tape has the genitive sec third. I sometimes favor having the da the dative in the third line. So de goes to dem, de d goes to de, das goes to dem, d goes to den, and the genitive de goes to des, d goes to de, das goes to des, d goes to de. So, if you have an example, um, der Mann is the man. Um, if you were talking about the man has a coat, um, you'd use the, verb, use the verb haben. Haben is a verb that 90% 90, 90 of the time, 90% of his time takes the accusative case. Um, and if he has a coat, a coat is der Mantel. So, if you're looking at the man, the man is the subject of the sentence. And then what is the object of the sentence? What does he have? He has der Mantel. So the object of a sentence always goes into the accusative case. So der goes to den. So der Mann hat den Mantel. So you'll see that den um, is far by the most important change for the definite article that you would need to know, especially at junior search level. So der Mann hat den Mantel. If we were to go straight down to the, the the dative case, and if I were to say, I gave the man a jacket. Firstly, the subject of a sentence is ich. The verb is gebe. We're kind of cheating in a bit because geben is a verb that automatically takes the dative case because the dative case is talking about um, the receiver of an action. So if I give the man a jacket, I is the subject of a sentence. Um, the action I'm doing is giving. Um, what am I giving? I'm giving a jacket. To whom is receiving the jacket? Who's the receiver of the jacket? The man. So you would say, Ich gebe dem man den mantel. So, ich gebe, in a case where you have the accusative noun and the dative noun, the accusative noun comes second, the dative noun comes first. So, Man, is, which gender is it? Der, die, das. Der. Der goes to dem, so it gave a dem man, because the dative noun is first. And then, what are you giving them? You give them dem mantel, but that's the that but you're, you're, that's the object, so it's the accusative object, so it goes to dem mantel. If you were to say, I'm giving the woman the jacket, so it gave a, we know that the receiver of an object is the female, so the female is D. D goes to der, ich gebe der, Frau. What are you giving here? The jacket or the overcoat? Den Mantel. Okay, so the nominative, accusative and dative primarily to be mastered before juniors, before leaving cert level. And then the genitive I'll discuss later on, but der goes to des. So 